Here I'm showing you how to make the barometer. It basically works by uh, this cling film here moves up and down as the pressure changes and that makes this pointer move up and down the scale which we can calibrate. So to make this you're going to need something like a glass tumbler works really well and cardboard for a tumbler on the base, a load of straws with plastic or paper and um, a couple of pins and the pins make sure you've got a cork so you can push the pin into the cork not into your fingers oh and some cling film as well okay so those are the things that we need so let's show you quickly how it's made so the first thing we want to do is we're going to put the cling film over the tumbler and I'm going to do that so it's nice and fairly tightly stretched over the tumbler so there are no creases so work to get that pretty good no, that's not bad okay. once you've done that then you need to take the sellotape and the sellotape around the top and there to make sure that is secure. Okay. You can do it neater than that, I'm sure. So then trim off the excess uh, cling film. Doesn't matter what type of cling film you use. There we are, take that off. And we've got our tumbler there, which is um, nice. The cling film on the top. Once we've done that, we make the center post. That's uh, this bit right there, the bit that's going to be connected to the middle of the diaphragm. To do that, we're going to make a post which is about 8 centimeters. I'm going to cut a slot a couple of centimeters in there and a couple of centimeters in that way as well. Then I can open out one side of this, like so, so it's nice and flat, like that, and that's going to go right on the middle there. And the other side, we can have the pivot in there, so I'm going to be, again, flattening this, but that's together, and the pointer is going to go through there, and the pin Going to need to make a hole through there and again what I do is I, I'm going to put the cork there so I push the pin into the cork to make a hole. Okay so once I've done that, facilitate here, here and put it right in the middle. That's a bit neat than that. Okay. That moves up and down as the diaphragm uh, moves. Okay. Now, uh, the next thing to do is we need to get the piece that goes across, and that piece is going to go across the, the front of this. So, what I do is take a straw, bend it in half, and then squash those top bits together. So, we've got that. And the fixed pivot goes through here. This is going to go around the sides of the tumbler like that, shape those. I'm going to Put a hole in it now with the pin, so it's quite difficult to get the hole through. Make it about a centimetre down. This, okay, there's the, there's the hole there. The pin will go through later. Um, take that out. Then that's going to go right there. And uh, get my holes lined up. Yeah, I'll take that piece of cell tape and put that around to secure my fixed pivot. So another piece of cell tape right around there. Okay, and there's the basic construction. So now what I'm going to do is that bit's free to move and that bit is fixed. 
and make a pointer. And I cut down the length. These are quite heavy, these uh, paper straws. So what I do is I cut down the length to half it. And I'm going to cut again to make it as thin as possible because it's going to be lightweight. And hopefully it's going to be straight. So I've got that. Now I'm going to need two holes um, for it to pivot. Again, I'm going to use the cork and make uh, a hole back there and another one so it's the right distance. Now I put it through the slot I made earlier and then back through that one. You can see there it is through those and then I can pivot it with the pin and it goes going to go through the hole there. We are. And the second pin I've got somewhere is uh, oh, there it is. Second pin. The second pin is going to go through the other pivot so that it is, I think we made the hole right, yeah, there we are. And now you can see what happens is when the diaphragm goes up and down, it magnifies the movement considerably. I can then snip off these pins, be careful with your eyes, there we go, and I'll put it on the base. Uh, some glue, probably not the best glue to use, but here we are, some stuff. Stick reasonably well onto my cardboard base. And then I've made scale, it's just out of this cardboard. A couple of tabs on there, which I can just simply place here. So, again, plenty of glue on that. The glue on that. Obviously, doing this quicker than you normally would. And that goes on there, and there is our barometer. Okay, how about that? And you can see that when the pressure changes, the pointer will go up and down that scale considerably. So what I need to do now is I need to mark the position and move that. So I'm going to go to there and up there. So my line is going to be here. And then I can mark today's pressure by looking it up on the internet, see what the local weather station says. I can mark the air pressure there. Then when it changes, I can mark the pressures there and I can calibrate my barometer. Okay, so there we are. And that is, and it works very, very well. I've got, had one of these working 10 years ago, I first made one, and it, uh, it's been working for 10 years. So have a bash at that.